Hi everyone, it's Kathy here again from Memories Made Magical and I've come back today to share this little album uh, which is about 6 by 8 I think roughly just under 6.5 by just over 8 inches this album is a concertina album that I've made using the Provence Stamperia collection. It's a commission order that I've been asked to do by a very lovely lady um, and she wants it for her sister as a birthday present. And the only brief I had was that this particular lady whose birthday it is loves the colours purple and whites and she loves everything floral and uh, sort of countryfied and farmhouse kitchen. So I thought, when I saw the Stamp Area Provence collection, I just thought that was absolutely beautiful. And I thought it would lend itself quite well to putting um, white card behind to use for the album covers and the pages. I think you might know by now that I like to use a lot of black card on my albums because I think it actually makes everything pop but because of the more gentle colours the lilacs and the pinks and the purples I thought white would be better so I've also put some pearlescent white card to make the album covers and the pages so as I said it's a concertina album so I've got ribbons that tie both sides so if we open the, the ribbons up I've put little resin pink hearts on the end of the ribbons just to stop them from fraying and also to give them a little bit of weight. So I'm just going to open it up. Um, I'll put in the description below that the tutorial I followed to do this album was the same as what I did when I made my little six by six concertina album um, for my daughter and the tutorial was by Claire Rat by Creative Spirit so I'll put the link to this tutorial in the description below so on the front on the front cover I'm just gonna try and bring the camera down a little bit more I can just go in a little bit you'll see that I've put some tiny little um, rhinestones or crystals just as little accents and I've also going a little bit further I don't know if you can actually see I've also put glossy accents just on some of the the lettering and some of the flowers and also on the um, butterfly and just picked out also just the lid of the perfume bottle just to give it a little bit more detail so as we open the front cover move that over so you can see it all and I'm just going to zoom out a little bit whoops there we go just so you can see a bit more of the complete album on the inside of the front cover I've just done a little pocket, just there using the pearlescent card and then I did photo mat. don't know if you can see the shimmer on that pearlescent card there. The card I used was uh, Centera Pearl by Crafter's Companion which is a lovely card, it's a good weight, it's probably about 240-260 GSM in weight. It cuts and die cuts really well, but it's also got a very pretty, pretty, pretty finish on it. So then I just rounded the edges and put some uh, of the design paper on top just to make a photo mat to slide into the pocket there. And then I use one of the little cutter parts just to use as a little, a little tag or journaling spot. Then on the second page. out the way. 
or the first page should I say. And I've just used a couple of the little journaling spots again and I just stuck them with a little tab just under the under the paper. I left a whole page there just for some nice photos and then these two little things here just for some interest but also as journaling spots for the photos. And going over on the next page I just left as a beautiful piece of designer paper that came in the collection which looks like it's got lace and borders stuck to it but it is actually flat so I left that plain because I thought it was quite a pretty um, pretty paper so I left that plain just for photographs again I put another pocket in with another photo mat which was pearlescent on one side and pretty paper on the other another plain page and another pocket. I've tried to keep it pretty simple because I think this lady is, is quite mature in age and I think she just likes the colours and papers and things like that so I didn't want to make it too fussy. So again another, another photo mat. But it's for all her memories for her birthday so I wanted to make sure that there was plenty of rooms for photos. I'll leave that page plain again for photos but I thought that was a beautiful picture of the old um, watering can and the old water can that they would have used in Victorian times to probably get washed in the morning so they'd always have one of those at the old fashioned sinks. Another pocket and these are beautiful papers that you get in this Tempura um, Provence collection. Very very French kitchen um, very vintage awfully pretty. So I wanted to basically let just let the papers do the talking. That's the end of that side, and then we can turn it over, and that's the back. As you can see on the back, um, as well as the front, I've put some silver peel-offs, just to give it a little bit more detail, and some little corners, some ornate decorative peel-off corners, I thought sort of went with the theme of the, of the vintage papers. Now let's get our ribbons out of the way again. The easiest way I've been led to believe to look at your album is to probably just tie your ribbons up while you're going through it. Easier said than done because I use chiffon ribbon so I um I do I do think I made a little bit of a mistake there using chiffon ribbon I think it would have been easier just to use a normal satin ribbon but that was the white one I had and I just thought it looked pretty delicate to go with with the album so that's why I chose that and then this is the back side of it again um, this album has actually got 14 pages in it it's got six on one side and it's got eight on the other so it's got plenty of room for photos and uh, you can put photos on the actual mats on the pages there. But again I've added some more photo mats and just rounded the corners. And again I've mirrored the other side with another plain page but two of the little journaling cards. So I've just had those. You can you can either use those to put photos on top um, and then do journaling inside or, or if you like the pictures keep the pictures there and put photos on the back as well. So 
they're nice little pasties. I think they are, they measure just over three and a half by three and a half. So they're just over, they're just over three and a half um, deep and three and a half, that's inches long. And then the next page, again, another beautiful, beautiful paper. So I left that one blank because I like the idea of the stamps and the postmarks. And it looks like there's some old writing with some water stains on it, so I thought that was pr pretty. And then the next one, another mat. This time I did a double sided mat on that one. Just thought there's um, lilac, I think they're the butterfly, I always call those a butterfly tree. I think it's a lilac. A lilac flower in there. Again with the, the calligraphy and that was just a piece of paper but it also looked, just cut that down just to put it on another pocket but it looked like it had tags and different things on there so I thought that was quite interesting. And moving on to the next page, another free page for photos. Just a nice, nice design paper. And then the little piece here that I cut out of one of the um, design papers looks a little bit like a, a faux denim, which was quite nice. I don't know if you can see that on there, but that's, so it looks like a faux denim. And again, it's like the flowers are just going coming up over the over the top over the fence next page I did like the calligraphy paper as you can see so I've probably tried to use that in quite a few of the pages it's quite a few designs of paper in this collection as well so you can quite easily um, mix and match and just randomly put your papers where you like. And then another pocket, but this time I didn't put a photo mat, I put one of the cut apart journaling cards here, which you can be used for a photo if somebody wants to on there. And then these two were little journaling cards and they were just open, like little open cards, just fold them in half, just cut them out and fold them in half. So they've got journaling spots there but they've also front, got fronts and backs which I thought was quite pretty so I'm going to pop those in. And they can be used for either little journaling cards or little photo mats if you've got some small photos to put in there. And there we are back at the front again. So, <clears throat> and I used um, the peel off alphabet, which just says memories across there. And again, I've got the silver peel off borders and corners, and I've just got a little few adhesive crystals. And I've got adhesive on the back, which I just put in the three corners just to give a little bit more interest. And these two are two of the little cutter parts, and I just stuck them on with some foam pads just to raise them to give them a little bit more interest and then a little butterfly that I cut out of one of the papers and just gave him a little bit, a few little accents of the glossy accent glue. So that's what I've been doing this afternoon. I hope you enjoyed watching this and thanks for stopping by and until I come back again with another video please take care and happy crafting.